This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. I'm on my way to the Lord's house. <laughs> I'm on my way. I'm on the way. A, 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 A. I'm on the way. So, happy Sunday. Hopefully you're on your way to worship as well. To meet my new birth family over there in Stonecrest, Georgia. Reverend Dr. Jamal Harrison Bryant and his sister, Dr. Tama. She's going to be ministering today, so I can't wait to see her. And uh, yeah, all is calm, all is bright. Being bamboozled, being hoodwinked, though. We don't understand. <laughs> Honey, they played the long game. They played you. And they played the long game. <laughs> I'm telling you. Strategically moved things around hoodwinked hoodwinked one of the best to get in position to what they want but the last two days showed what they're really capable of honey hush honey hush I know it's a bunch of loud screaming at the house I know it is if they don't get their way trust <clears throat> I speak from what I know live that abusive life being abused, I should say. I lived with that 13 years in a marriage. Trust me, you don't want that. If it looks like this now, it only gets worse later. And what I said yesterday after that, you know, that three three set on the stage y'all had, um, where you said, I don't want to marry someone who does what you do for a living. And they said, I don't want to marry someone who does what you do for a living. <laughs> so, and, and then they said, you know, all the things that they didn't want, they they got it in you, and all the things you didn't want, you got it in them. So what are y'all doing? What is the purpose? What are we trying to do? Is there some money tied to it? Because I don't see why you would do it. Even if it was money tied, I'm not gonna have a miserable, long, miserable life. Then you get to the end of your life, on your last days, you're like, dang, I really wish I would have followed my heart. I really wish I would have married the one I was truly in love with, right? Not just for what it looked like. Mm -mm. Honey, and then when they will do whatever over the sanctified space out of the pulpit, to hell with this, to hell, like who does that? I ain't never heard, I've been around a long time, I ain't never heard anybody say that. I don't understand why people allow these things, like who's in charge here, right? It's like really? Well, I can't be surprised at them because they don't want to give the evil eye out of the, out of the pulpit, too. I understand. So if they get up to spouting and pouting, they just hurt. And they need to go sit down somewhere and heal. All they're doing is spouting out of their hurt space. And it's just not helping people. It's not helping them. They're just venting. People said in the comments, oh, what? So you need to go, go lay on the couch. Go talk to her therapist. This is not a therapy session, right? And, you know, preach it out of their hurt, not out of their healed space. And, you know, like I said, they can't lead anyone anywhere if they don't even know where they're going. They haven't even gotten out of their space of, you know, of hurt, of unhealed. They're bleeding all over everybody every time they get up there because it's just coming out of the hurt. It's the pouty phase. It's the whole puff and puff, it's all of that. I recognize it anywhere. I know what that looks like. And if that's what it looks like in public, I know what you're getting in private. I already know this, I'm telling you. And I don't want that for you. I know you don't want that for you, but you might not know how to find no way out of it. If I stop this thing, they're gonna do so-and-so. I told y'all. My ex said, if you move the kids to Georgia, then I'm gonna get full custody. And I believed him for the longest time. But then I thought about him, like, you don't really want no full custody. <laughs> you don't really want that. He's just saying that stuff. And I believe in him. So stop believing what the person says and believe what you say. What's going on in your heart, in your mind, in your soul, in your spirit? What is God saying moreover? And, you know, did God really say that? Or is that you just trying to figure it out? And then, and then, attributing what growth and stuff you've had to, to, to the wrong person is just wrong. 
<laughs> they didn't make you feel this and that and the other thing. They had nothing to do with it. All they did was block you from them, right? So if you block them from you, that's just a sign of how it's going to be. If you don't give me what I want in this marriage, then I'm going to block you. I'm going to stop talking to you. I'm going to shut down. That's not how you, you got to communicate. You got to talk through this stuff. And it's just, it's just a constant eggshell walk in that life. I know you're walking on eggshells. I see it. Don't do it. I know what you want. You want, you want peace. You said what you wanted. You don't want no loud crazy. You want some peace, some joy, some kindness, some unconditional love. And all of that, all of that, all of that that goes with it. So please, by all means, shut the thing down before you get sorry. It's a runaway train. I said yesterday on the last video. Runaway train. It's a runaway train. It's a runaway doggone train. And, you know, you got them propped up. They got you propped up. You know what I'm saying? Whatever lines you're supposed to say. This is not a movie. This is a whole real life. And, you know, you've been used to going through this for so long years and years and years that it just becomes part of your repertoire how to talk your way out of it how to talk your way through it how to say the right thing but all of that not necessarily to to your help but to your detriment so when you finally stand up and decide I'm going to be true and honest with myself and to myself and then true and honest with the people around me that are using me that don't want me for me they want me for the access and the status and the you know everything that they can get from being with me not just the true me they said they want the true you that's not true it's an act they're one of the best actors I've ever seen oh, da, da, da. that's that's an act they're shapeshifter copycat they copycat the energy that you really wanted but they don't carry the essence of what you really wanted that's why it's still an issue for you in a little bit. You still think like it is, but it's not. It's like you're in the matrix. You slip in and out of it. They slip in and out of the mask falls on and off. They can't hold that energy forever because it's not their energy. They're not that person. They're imitating the person that you wanted. They're like, oh, why do they want them? All right, well, let me act like them. Oh, why do they want them? Well, let me dress like them. Let me dress more modest like them. Let me act sweet and kind like them. What is it they want about that person? I'm going to just be that. And then they'll think that they want me. But again, the real them is about to come out. They're going to turn from David Banner to the Hulk. But well, they already have. You already know that's why you're, in, why you're still in it. But I'm telling you, if you don't be honest with yourself and honest with what God said for you to do and say, like they said, to hell with all of what y'all think. But don't say it in the pulpit. To hell with what they think. I'm going to do what I want to do then hey, that's when you will win. I promise you. The abundance will come. The spiritual protection will come. Right now, you're just out there. Honey. You're just out there. You're unprotected. Out there. Counting on you. Counting on you. And don't be waiting to, to chat with your real person. Well, I'm going to wait to chat with them because I don't want to... They're going through whatever because, you know, because I stopped coming. That don't mean you draw apart. That means you draw closer. That's the problem. They trained you that when they stopped coming, when they blocked you, that you stay away. No, that don't mean stay away. It means let's talk about it. But your person can't talk with anything about you because they have no access to you because the fake person has blocked all access. So they can continue to manip manipulate the situation. They can continue to create the narrative that they want in your mind and make you believe what you shouldn't even be believing. All right, so please and thank you. I'm counting on you to be your best, honest, authentic self, okay? Can you please and thank you do that? Can you please and thank you do that? All right, look at all these visitors you have. Hey, Jamal Bryant, look at all these visitors you have. They got a whole van full coming in. A whole van full of folk coming in. <laughs> Welcome to New Birth. So, you know, I know you said stuff about your person to other people. Why aren't they, why aren't y'all still, y'all look like y'all was about to do something. Yeah, well, and you made up stuff about your real person, right? I already know that. You think I don't know these things. So stop hiding, 
acting like I can't face them. You can face them. They already know what happened. God already showed them what happened, so stop playing around with it. Ugh. <laughs> Anyway, listen, Linda, listen, Lucy, stop your tricking head stuff. You still can't win. And again, because they know what your divine destiny is, because she knows what your divine destiny is, and she wants to stop it at all costs, ask her who she's serving. Once again, who are you really serving if you don't want God's destiny for my life? Are you serving the true and living God? Or are you serving your own purposes? And they're serving their own purposes. They don't care what God said. They care what they want. They're willing to do anything. I'm telling you, they'll stop at nothing. It's the long game. You had somebody on your podcast. Uh, what's her name? Stormy, I think. She was talking about that. They, they, will, they will even marry you to get what they want. And I need you to open your eyeballs and take a good look at this thing. And like I said in the video yesterday, ask God to give you incognito eyes. Eyes that don't have your browsing history. don't have your viewing history. They haven't seen all the things you've seen. Uh, incognito browser, you know, it doesn't show your browsing history. So, in, in the internet, right? Like Google, Chrome. So, if you get incognito eyes, you're going to look at this situation through some eyes that don't know the history of what's happened. And, and the history of the manipulation. And, and, and aren't looking at it through the manipulation that you've been through. They're looking at it with a fresh set of eyes so they can see exactly what is going on. Which is why I see exactly what's going on. God lets me see exactly what's going on. And if you ask for the incognito eyes, take yourself out of it. And if it was someone else's experience, what would you say? Then you'll know. Like I said back in the beginning, this is not a feather in your cap. It ain't going to benefit you. They're going to tear your kingdom down. And that's all she wrote. It's time for church. It's 930. I got to go in. Love you. God bless you. Love hugs, pats, all of that, all of that, all of that. Yay. Um, glad to be here. Listen, you're going to need to reach out to me because, again, everything is all shut down. I need to talk to you. Again, one conversation with your person will change the whole game. That's why they want to block your person because they don't want you to talk to them because then they know that the jig is up. Once you talk to your person and get the true story, the jig is up. That's why they're blocking. Ask them why they're blocking. Why are they blocking your person from talking to you? Why are they blocking your person from reaching out? Why are they blocking your person from seeing anything you're doing? Why are they blocking it? Because they don't want you to know what the truth is. So, if you're in charge of yourself, and they're not in charge of you, and you are in charge of yourself, and they're not in charge of you unless you let them be, just take one day and don't let them be in charge of you. Be in charge of yourself. And tell yourself... Let me see what this really is. And then reach out to your person one way or another, however you can get, get to your person. Get to me. Let's have the conversation. And it's going to be a wrap. I promise you, you will, you will be like eyes open, eyes wide open. All right. Love you. God bless you. I'm going in. See you soon. Take care. Be blessed. Bye.